guys, this is Lisa from Local King Robert Stan. Welcome to my channel. Ready for today's video? Today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how to create these beautiful tropical things. So recently, I just launched around 10 brand new combo set. If you haven't got a chance to check it out, I will put the link below. Make sure you check it out. At this moment, we are doing a pre-order. So it's up to 35% off if you get the all 10 combo set. And also free shipping on all the orders. So this promotion is until uh, March 29th. So uh, make sure you check it out. So I already created a few of the videos. So this is going to be the last video. Uh, not, video not the last video, the last set. So this is a trackable ballet. And uh, I already did this one. It's a bloom uh, flight and uh, whisper of spring and this is uh, our floor cuddle i will working on um another car this is uh, one of the project for our workshop and also i did the hummingbird and the butterfly and i have another four circle design i will working on the um on the video to share with you guys, uh, with you guys soon so today we are going to working on these beautiful cards and i have some awesome car making tips to share with you that's uh, started if you're new to the uh, my channel welcome my name is lisa i created local king robert stan and i created this youtube channel to share with all my royal customers how to use a local king's product so i am not just creating i'm um, using the stamps so when i launched the uh, new um, new image. I always use my stamp even sometimes I mix with my old stamps and uh, so Hoping you like my channel and uh, If you have the stamp use the stamp if you don't have the stamp pick up the technique and then you can use the same idea And I'm sure you can create a beautiful car. So every vi uh, video that I create from your side probably 30 40 minutes and but it, it took me probably some time three to four hours sometimes up to six or eight hours to just create uh, one video to share with you so if you do like this video give me a thumb up let me know and uh, leave me a comment and i would like to thank you some of you guys to spend the time to leave me a comment i really really appreciate it. your comment is the reason that um i will keep to create videos to share with you um the the, the ideas that i i know okay so I would like to um, use this stamp set and this uh, typical ballet is uh, a detail stamp. It's a little bit different with a shadow stamp. The detail stamp is good for coloring and uh, um, my design, I treat my design um, each image is like a piece of artwork. So I did uh, like a, a real drawing and uh, um, my image is really, really detailed. So the best way to color the detail stamp is to use the um, alcohol mar uh, markers, the copen markers. But I know a lot of my viewer and the customer, they don't um, want to get into the alcohol markers. Especially a few years ago, there was only the COVID mark, uh, not COVID, COVID markers. So they are kind of pricey, but now they do have some uh, other markers available and the, the price is reasonable. So if you like to coloring um, those kind of design, like uh, see the image is so detailed and it's a, it's a, it's a little bit different uh, with just like an outline um, rubber stamp or the clear stamp. The, my design, I add a, a lot of a shading area, so that makes your job easy. So the best way for the um, for the detail stamp is coloring with the markers, uh, not alcohol, watercolor, all the media you can have because the color will show better. And then, but be honest with you, alcohol marker is awesome, but it need time to build up. So before I. I don't want to use an alcohol marker because I, I know a lot of you guys don't have. So I give a few trying and then um, I try all different kind of uh, material. And uh, this is the one I come out the, the best, the, the one I like the most. And then it's also the one I think is the most the easiest one. And I'm going to share with you how I create this one. So this is just a few I want to share with you guys. Uh, how I color. So this one, I use the watercolor, just a very, very light watercolor with a brown, um, brown uh, base color for the outline. And I kind of don't um, 
don't like it because I don't feel my uh, flamingo um, stand out enough. So maybe I should just make uh, the leaf a little bit darker. And then I try in the, oh, and this is on the watercolor paper. And the watercolor paper is a little bit, have some kind of texture and the color is a little bit yellow. So I don't really like the result um, of this one. This is the one I use the black, uh, car, uh, black uh, Versamar ink on the Cougar Y. I think um, it's uh, not bad. I like the Flamingo, but uh, um, I just don't get that feeling this is the one I want. And I try in the other one. I think this is, I just use uh, my markers, add some water and color that. So I try few and I can show you maybe my garbage bin. Then you can see there's a, a lot of preparation, a lot of trying, and I spent a lot of time to work on that and then come to the, the best result and to share with you guys. Okay, so this is the one I come out with and I really, really like it. And I use the one of my new background stamp to create this beautiful card. So for the the those uh, 10 combos that the image is kind of big, so I kind of use the uh, five by seven. You can use uh, maybe 5.5 by 5.5, make a bigger car. Or if you want to make a smaller car, of course, they will work just fine. So first we are going to do the stamping. If this is the first time you are watching my video, I actually share a lot of awesome um, car making idea with you. I like Misty, uh, but sometimes just find out they are not thick enough. So I actually layering too many things. I layering a piece of metal, a rubber, and then a piece of metal again. And I use one of these uh, um, sticky mat uh, for my digital die cut machine. They are not that sticky anymore, but they still good enough. So I use a, a Cougar White 100, so that way I can just easily put my car on top. I don't even have to use the magnet. The magnet is actually holding that sticky um, sticky pad. So I use the Ver VersaFine. This is my favorite impact. I just uh, think they are very fine. They are very juicy and they usually one them, you can get a pretty much good image, okay? I think that's uh, good enough. I don't want to over stamp because I don't want my outline bleed. See how detailed those uh, design. So that's put away. Okay. And then we are going to do the die cut. I already uh, stamped three times and then I already die cut it. This time when I designed my die cut, actually, I did it pretty good because uh, you don't really have to create a guiding window anymore. But if you want like a hundred percent line up the image, it's better you create a guiding window. Otherwise, uh, you what I use is I use the eyeball, the center of the flower, and then um, they kind of fit perfectly. And then you just put the tape on top, run through the machine, and you will get an uh, uh, image. And look at how close uh, the image, the die cut line with the image. They are, they just have, they, they barely have uh, that um, space between the stamp, I mean the image line and the die cut line. So of course, I give it both options. So there is a outline die cut. Most of the die cut on the market, they are like that. You just uh, put your die cut on top without your stamp image. This die cut is useless, but uh, you die cut it and they have uh, like a big border line. If you are happy, that's good. But, but I would like to go a little extra step to create something that other people don't have. So that's how you do the die cut. So I have uh, three pre-cut already and I'm going to show you how I color it in. Okay, so I'm going to, and this one I don't use it, so I'm going to put it back to my storage envelope and I can use the next time. Okay, so I have a piece of laminate sheet and um, I just use this one as my base and uh, so I have a three, okay. So I actually, why I have a three, if you see on the side, I actually have a three layers. Okay, so the first layers, we are going to working on the, the, the green one. 
So one of them, this one, I did a little bit boo boo. So I, I am this one. I'm going to put on the 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 first layer. So when I put the other layer on top, it's going to um, cover it. And then I am using my Memento Impact. This is my Memento Impact. And I use uh, the Magic Mushroom, my blending tool to color them. You can use the any blending tool you have handy. Um, so I just uh, have uh, my Magic Mushroom handy, so I'm going to just use it. You can use uh, brushes, uh, anything you have. Uh, no need to have exactly the same product I have. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, put a little bit of color in. Uh, if you have been watching my video, I have been repeat too many times. Never start to apply the color directly on your car. Always working from the outside and uh, draw a little circle. Okay. Just like that. Okay. And then always use your thumb your second finger thank you susie <laughs> second finger and then your um middle finger to support your sponge okay i know i know the flower is a pink but i'm going to just give a very very light color so i just love this soft applying um soft color not too strong and then i'm going to just clean my um working space and i'm going to do a little bit green Okay, I always testing a little bit on my scrap paper just in case if uh, I over ink my magic mushroom. That's it. That's uh, how I color the green. And then now we are going to working on my flamingo. So same thing, I'm going to clean my surface. Always try to keep the finger clean. Okay, and I'm going to use the, do the flamingo. So, and I'm going to show you something. It's uh, very easy. So Flamingo is kind of pink. We just did our Caribbean cruise and uh, I think it's, uh, where was it? How was it Cosmo or Costa Maya? Oh my God, we saw the real, real Flamingo. Their color is just so pretty. How lucky Flamingo have a beautiful pink color on their body. It's just so pure and they're so soft and then you just want to touch them they're so pretty they look like they are fake okay so we're going to use the memento the rose bud in the oh actually i'm going to apply a little bit orange first remember the magic mushroom before you use it they have to be moisture if they are too dry they will not pick up the color same thing don't worry about anything i know the leaves are green because but we're going to do something so it's not going to effect uh, or final result so my flamingo is here but don't try to put uh, your magic mushroom uh, directly on your flamingo try to always work from outside okay Oop. i did the pink already that's okay okay just a very very soft color i just add a little bit pink uh, uh, orange on my flamingo if you want to do a clear coat of a uh, embossing, like a clear embossing on top, um, that will be very helpful too. Because I found that when I when I put the color on top, my black outline is a little bit back off a little bit. So if you want it really standing up, what you can do is you can um, stamping with a versifying and the coat it with a clear embossing powder. I will not use the black embossing powder because my design is very detailed. Sometimes if you use the black embossing powder, it kind of, it will lose some of the detail. So the clear embossing is the best. Okay, so I am going to just put this one away, but I'm not done yet. I am going to show you something else I, I'm going to do. So now I'm going to actually working on the flowers. So the flowers, I am actually going to try to use a little bit um, lighter color. I'm too lazy to clean my magic mushroom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, dry a little bit. Okay. So same thing. I'm going to start with uh, a little bit color here. Okay. And then we are going to do a little bit orange. You can do these 
only if you have the stamp image that uh, the die cut is right next to the your your stamp uh, your stamp image if your stamp image have that white border it probably won't work like this so just uh, pay a little bit attention when you choose your stamp image okay so now I have uh, all three color, right? I'm done. I'm not done yet. I will do more. So now you are going to grab a pair of scissors. Okay. It's so easy to trim because when I design my stamp, I always add some extra um, texture to make a 3D pop out card. So like this flamingo, I am going to just trimming the leaf off. I want to make a, like a 3D car. So when you want to trimming, the easiest way is turning your car, not turning your scissors. So you turning your paper. Okay, see how easy I can trimming this one. And then the beak, you can see I already have a some pre-cut here. So that make your job so easy. I thought about it when I, um, design my stamp so it's not uh, you have to like a uh, cut from fussy cut all the way so you actually just cut the part of uh, this image okay almost there see because I already have all those uh, design there see how fast Okay, you don't have to trim in the um the flowers. Okay, one hair sticking here. Okay, let me just put everything on the floor and I will clean after the workshop. Not workshop after the video. Okay, so that's my flamingo and I found out is the I still can do a little bit touch up. So this is the same thing. You can see the flower and the, look at the center of that flower. How fine this design here. Okay, so I'm also going to trimming that flower. So easy because the part of the image is already cut. You actually just uh, cutting. See, I kind of just uh, so easy. My flower have legs. <laughs> Sexy legs. Okay. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Now I have three pieces already, right? We are going to do a little bit final touch up. So I am going to get uh, one eyeshadow applicator here. So first I am going to make my flamingo a little bit pinker. So I'm going to use the, the magic mushroom just to give it a little bit pink color. Okay, and the here is what we're going to do. So you can see this is already pre-cut. The wing is already popped out. The little tail, maybe you can find Steve on the back, the wing and the little tail. So what I'm going to do is I have a piece of scrap paper and I kind of just insert that piece of scrap paper here because I want to protect the bottom, uh, bottom part. So I use this uh, makeup uh, applicator just to give a little bit highlighting. Draw a little circle, gentle, okay? See, now my wing is uh, pop out and the, the tail, the feather in the very end. Okay, so you kind of just put it here and uh, do a little bit if you want to. Okay. If you want to, you can, I'm gonna just use the magic mushroom is faster. That's it. So that's my bird and it's really standing out and I don't really cover here because I kind of like that highlight. And the same thing with the flower. I'm going to show you. So the flower. Okay. So the flower also have a, some like a, this part is pre-cut. So you're going to just uh, put here 
and uh, just make sure that I was using pink so testing first and uh, kind of just uh, give a little bit touch out go under go under this center like uh, the, go pick up this uh, this part and then go under there you go and then if you want to we can just uh, use uh, this uh, little applicator give it a little bit coloring okay same uh, same with the green if you want to if you want to you can make a side darker a little bit if you want to but i think that's good enough or if you want to just make sure use a clean one pick a little bit darker color just draw some stroke to decorate if you want to but i think this is already very good okay and then now i'm going to oh i forgot my sexy legs here so i'm going to for the leg i'm going to just use the, my markers to color the leg what color is the flamingo's leg i think it's brown right light brown so i'm going to just color the light brown okay that's good and then we are going to just uh, layering then so this is my first layer i'm going to just grab uh, foam tape okay one here one here okay so I'm going to just put here like this that's the first layer and then now we're going to put the old flower on top one more Ta-da! See the layering? Okay, I think that's uh, pretty nice, right? Okay, and then next we are going to working on the background. So before we working on the or background, I uh, we are going to do something. Um, no, actually, that's working on the background. So the background, I have a uh, this uh, Cougar White car stock. This is a five by seven, and then we are going to use this uh, Natilius background stem so this is the background stem we are launching um january last year uh, i think january last december haven't got a chance to use it so we're going to use it and then i am uh i will use this stem again so i'm going to show you some great technique so all local king's rubber stands the background stem is the uh, design for is uh, the size is uh pretty much like a 4.15 by 5.25 because the uh, one play we can put the full background stand that's the most economic way to uh, produce rubber stand if you want to go bigger we can only make a two stamps a play and it's really costly and uh, recently you know that I am having a problem to get a supplier to um, to make a rubber stand so I don't know it's just getting harder and harder to make a rubber stamp and uh, um, everybody moved to the clear stamp and the sound of the material they are actually discontinued so I actually have a have a had a have a panic moment <laughs> this morning because I can't find the mattress the mattress is the molding material to duplicate the stamp so if I don't have a mattress I won't be able to make a rubber stamp so finger crossed uh, which means i can find a new supplier because uh, not too many people make a rubber stamp anymore and the uh, um lo local king rubber stamp is the, the company that we make a um now we i make my own stamp so okay 
we are going to do the coloring. So the coloring, I'm going to show you. I have uh, two beautiful pink color rosebud in the lilac posé, 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 something like that. Okay, so I'm going to just rub some. Oh, actually, I made a mistake. We shouldn't do that. I don't want a very heavy color. So I'm actually going to use the magic mushroom. If you don't have a use, a, you don't have a magic mushroom. You try to find some sponge um, to do this. So I start the like calling the middle. Okay, I just uh, kind of repeat a few times, and then around it, I kind of release my pressure a little bit. I want to have uh, some layering. I want to center is dark, and on the side is a little bit fading. And then I use my the other color, kind of hitting a little bit, calling the middle, and I can use even a little bit darker red, just gentle. Okay, and then my stamp is small, right? So first of all, we make sure we stamp on the right side. So I'm going to stamp this side. So I put uh, I put my car directly on top. Okay, and then grab a piece of paper to, I don't really stamp on my rubber stamp, rubber stamp anymore. I usually put my background stamp on the table I mean, and I'm rubbing my car on top. I found out that way I can get a better image. Okay, and now is the challenging part because how I can stamping the rest of the section and the line out directly. This is the fun part. First of all, I am going to um, turning my stamp different direction. They actually kind of stick on the on the that uh, laminated sheet, and then I have a piece of uh, removable tape. I am actually taping the border of my first stamp image. Okay, and then I'm going to ink my stamp again. So exactly the same way. I maybe need to clean my magic mushroom, but I'm too lazy. So in the middle, you hit hard, it's darker color, and then release a little bit pressure, kind of blending directly on your rubber stamp. And come back, pick up a darker color, and then hit the middle. Second color. And the third color, um, you have to use the sponge head. You cannot use brushes because the brush will pick up the color. Okay, so now make sure my hair is clean. I always get a fingerprint. Okay, you can see the tape, right? I still have my tape there. When you put on top, um, you don't have to worry because uh, because my tape is protected by my other side of the car image so you don't have to worry about that rub, 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 rub. I see aha uh -huh. watch the magic I get a perfect line out and then I just extend my image and then I'm going to just clean my tape because this tape is kind of pricey so I'm going to just stick my tape on my table and I can use it again and I'm going to just uh, clean my workstation. Always clean your workstation. Okay, put uh, this uh, back. Okay, and the next, okay, so this is my foundation car. Look that beautiful throwing. I think it's pretty and I have a more idea to show you how to use this car later. So this is uh, my main character and I put here, I just find them me it's kind of my background is kind of take a take over a lot of uh, um, attention for my uh, my image so I was kind of looking see what I have to do so I found a violin okay the val violin okay that's the violin okay or tra uh, tra uh, tracing paper so the violin is kind of like this color and I put on top I think it's okay, it's okay, but uh, I just find out it's not strong enough, but I think it, it will work too. 
okay if you want to do like a light color or what you can do is uh, i use my magic mushroom kind of just dabbing some of the color on top so that way i create the any color vellum paper i need to so i think this is uh, really pretty what do you think okay i think that's good i i like it and i'm going to just tape it and then this uh, actually because that color it doesn't really show the glue did i get some it doesn't really show the glue but the only thing you got to pay attention is the they take a little bit um time to dry okay so don't put too much uh, ink on top so i think that's pretty right and then we're going to put the uh, or main image on top mm, you can put the 3d or not anything you like let's just do this Oh, okay, here, I just have a quick note to my, um, whoops, to some of you guys that has a sign out the uh, March 30th the workshop, by now you should receive a email with uh, a testing link. If you did not receive the email, please contact me as soon as possible. If you don't contact with me, that means your email is not on the list. You won't be able to join us uh, on the 30th because you won't have the, 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 the link to log in. So if you have signed out Local Kings Workshop on the March 30th, 30th you should receive a link. So um, please contact me. Okay, so I mounted my stuff and I'm going to put on the sentiment. And I have been talking about this all the time. We give you a sentiment addition. So what I do is I just use the Versafine, black Versafine. I just stamping on piece of acetate and then don't touch it. It's not going to dry because it's a material. You can stamp here. You can stamp here any way you like. I think maybe on here is a little bit too dark, right? What do you think? I think it's good. But this time, I think it's still good. I think I'm going to just stamp in there. So I'm going to ink my image. Okay, and I talk about this all the time. Well, just in case, so I'm going to make sure they are not the crooked. That's very good. So when you stamp, when you put your stamp on the color block, you are going to make it, make sure they are parallel. So when you stamp it, you guiding with your a uh, color block, not your rubber. Okay, there you go. I think that's so pretty, isn't, isn't it? I love it. One more last, last, but, okay, what's that thing? Not list, but not list, not list. I just learned that last, but not list. Okay. Thank you, Susie, for explaining that for me. I always understand, uh, always wondering why people have to say last, but not least. So now I understand what does that mean last but not least so i am going to put a little bit highlight on the beak okay something highlight on the flower also if you want to put some highlight on the feather you can do that and then i am actually going to put a little eyeballs so what I did is I used those new bow, do the white and black, something, I think this, if I give him these uh, eyes, it's kind of, I have a lot of eyeball here. Oh, actually, I think it's a pretty cute. This was the eyeball for my frog class, but uh, I think it, I think I like that. So I'm going to do, okay, so this is a, uh, um, I've been repeating too many times. If I share some technique, I think it's good. I keep using it. So this is actually the micro dot uh, sticky pack.
packed something. Why am I always looking for my tweezer? I actually find this eyeball is actually make this flamingo very cute, isn't it? So I'm going to remove this eyeball. Ugh. I made a boo boo. I can just remove it. And I use this eyeball. This is the eyeball that I prepared for my workshop. If you haven't seen my eyeball video, you got to check it out how to make a 3D eyeball. It's one of the video I really proud proud it, proud of because uh, that actually, I think that I just added touch out right. And and remember the rhinestone technique. So this rhinestone is all come from the clear color, and I just use my alcohol marker color few. You can see there's some light pink and a darker pink. And then this uh, this uh, micro dots is perfect because uh, if uh, you want to use a glue, just do one at a time. That is take forever. So this glue is actual. Uh, this uh, glue um, dots, I think, is just make this car so pretty. And then this one, I have a sound like a tiny rhinestone. Got a long time ago. I think I probably need the one yellow one. Okay. And then what is better than the these uh, micro dots? Look how. See this one, I don't know, can you see? It's actually pop out. Okay, and then if you want to, you can put some um, 3D, like a clear one on top. If you want to add a little bit on the wing, you can do that. You want to add a little bit glitter, you can do that too. So that's today's project. What do you think? I think I, I think I did a pretty good job. Okay, so if you like my video, Give me a thumb up, let me know. And then remember your comments, your thumb up, your feedback is very, very important to me. And I would like to thank you, you again, spending the time to leave some com um, comments. Um, I really, really appreciate it. And then those comments is really make me feel want to create a more video. So that's today's video. If you haven't got a chance to check the other video, I um please just go to the uh, Local King Robert Stan's YouTube channel. I used to post everything under my library, uh, online library, but I think it's a uh, it's too many, and I'm sometimes have a problem. They the my server, the provider, they kind of um warning me the way I do is kind of against the way their platform. So it's a slow down the the loading. So the best way you want to find me is just go to um YouTube and the type in local kings uh, um local kings local king rubber stamps uh, um video and then I think uh, you can find me that way. Okay, so hoping you like today's video and I think I'm going to take a little break from now. I still have a formal circle uh circle uh, combo set that I need to do the video. But those are is uh, pretty much similar, um, uh, um, but different image. I were working on some other technique to share with you guys how to use it. But uh, for those uh, four um, combo set, the the this uh, the blossom uh, flight, the whisper of a spring, and the floor cuddle. So those are the four four cards that I have created so far and uh, maybe uh, next week I will put, um, create a more video because I've been doing this a uh, few days straight I'm kind of beat up now okay so but let me know what are you thinking about uh, um, those video and I really hope you like it and uh, thank you so much for watching until the, uh, the end and remember our pre-order promotion is running now and uh, um, take advantage of a big discount and also the free shipping on the order uh, on the orders. 
on the old orders. Okay, thank you so much for watching. This is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stamp. See you next time. Bye, guys.